Hey everybody, today we're gonna set up an Ecoflex 4x2x2 by two by two enclosure with heat, light, and get it ready for an animal. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is seal the inside with silicone. These are assembled by you, so they're not gonna seal up well. Make sure to use clear silicone one. Let's start by placing the deep heat projector on the hot side of the enclosure and drill a hole in the back below where that DP projector is. Place the thermostat sensor through the hole, making sure that's aligned with the projected path of the DP projector. Next, we need to fasten that sensor to the back of the enclosure. These cable clamps at Home Depot work really well. Some of them are a little bit too large and don't fit well. Some of them are a little bit too small. If it's too large, a neat little trick you can do here is to take an extra one, cut off the ends of it so that uh, the screw holes are missing and now you can take that extra piece which have a nice little groove in it and place it inside of another clamp with that inside now it'll fit snugly on some of these sensors you might have to do a couple of them whatever works and whatever fits once it's secure on there because you do not want this coming loose use a screw and attach it near your hole you don't want much cable being inside of the enclosure or that your animal might get tangled up in it Let's move on to the deep heat projector. Place that at the top above your sensor and plug it into your thermostat. We like the Rev Dezoos. Dimming thermostats are the way to go with deep heat projectors. With your deep heat projector plugged into the thermostat, now plug your thermostat in to an always on plug in your power strip. If it first turns on in Celsius, hold the up and down buttons at the same time and this will set you back to Fahrenheit. When you're ready to set the temperature, hold down set until it starts flashing. And now you can move that down to the lowest temperature we want to get this enclosure down to at night. The DP projector is for nighttime only. With your timer, let's set a 12 hour period. It doesn't matter what 12 hours it is. Just give it a good 12 hours and align that to what time you'll be able to interact with the animal. Plug your timer into your always on power strip and make sure the switch is set to timer on. Next, take your UVB light, place that on the top, and plug that into your timer. Now we take the halogen light, set that next to your deep heat projector, and let's uh, run the cable over toward our timer, but we're not going to plug it in just yet. For a halogen, we need to run a dimmer. So place the dimmer into your timer and turn the dimmer all the way up to as high as it will go. Now plug your halogen light into the dimmer and we'll explain what that's for here in the next step. Make sure your switch is on. Now with everything set up and everything on, let's turn all the lights on and let it warm up. So here you can see everything on. Let's take a quick peek inside so you can see the lights are on. You'll notice that uh, the UVB on is, is on and the halogen is on, but we don't see anything from the DP projector. Remember, that's not going to come on until later. Now's a good opportunity where things warm up to mount your thermostat so it's toward the front of the enclosure. Use a small enough screw so that you can still pull this back off. If you're using a different type of thermostat, you might need to mount it in a different way. As we look at that DP projector that didn't look on, if we take the, the temperature gun, we can see that it is near 400 degrees. So even though it's not producing any light, it is producing a lot of heat when it's on. We look at our cold side now that it's been running for a while and we're down to 73, which is great. And as we move over toward the warm side, we can see we've hit just about 90 degrees, which is what we wanted. If you're not getting up to 90 degrees, you might need a stronger bulb. Or if you're getting above 90 degrees, you might need a lower wattage bulb. And here we can see that just putting something inside that lifts up can increase the temperature quite a bit. We went from 90 degrees to 112. If it's too hot, you can take your dimmer and back it off a little bit, no more than 15%. You don't want to move out of that band. Next, let's take a look at the UVB bulb. Here we have a Dragon 14% bulb. And as we look at the Ferguson zone, at five inches down, we're into a Ferguson zone seven, and it's not until we reach around nine inches that we hit the appropriate Ferguson zone for basking for a dragon. That UVB is reaching all the way to the bottom for Ferguson zone one, so this would be an appropriate bulb for this enclosure. 
However, we have to be careful how high we let that dragon get. As we come up the enclosure and we look at the intensity of the UVB, we quickly cross from the appropriate three and four zone into a five by six inches from the top, and we're into a dangerous uh, zone of, of 10 or above by three inches. Here we have a Reptisun 5.0 bulb, which is more appropriate for something like a snake. You'll notice the Ferguson zone drops off quickly from the top, and at five inches, we're already down into a Ferguson zone three, and by seven inches into a two, and we're dropping below a one, um, around a foot down into the enclosure. So you want, again, make sure that you set these appropriately. Let's drop some substrate in the enclosure and throw in the hide and throw in some of the, uh, the water bowl and other items and step back and take a look and you're complete. You've set up your enclosure for your animal.